I didn't know where I was. I didn't know what was happening. And I was, of course, really scared. And then in a lot of pain. He was coming home uh, from school. And um, while he was uh, crossing the road, he was hit by an SUV. Um, it was just like few houses from our house. There's so many injuries that he had from head to toe as everything was broken. Um, he had a severe brain injury. Um, he, his, every piece of bone in his face was broken. Everything was broken on his face. Um, his lungs were all punctured and squished. And um, he broke uh, his ribs. Uh, his stomach was all uh, gone. He broke his arms and legs. I couldn't recognize him at all. I, 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 it would, nobody told me that this is my son. I have no idea this is my son. And um, the only thing that I recognize is, was his feet and hands. That's it. He's been given a lot of blood. Actually, that was the first thing that they required. He had so much blood loss that he, has, he went into cardiac arrest. And then uh, when, when they told us that, you know, he's been given a lot of blood transfusion and he needs quite a lot of blood, and, and I was just thinking about all that, that how important it is, like all these people who have given blood, is basically now we can see that how it, blood saves lives. I've donated 109 times. I started in 1985. It feels like a wonderful full circle thing that um, I get to see that, you know, proof that maybe my blood does save people. And um, it's a rewarding feeling. Maybe a lot of people don't realize the huge need for blood. It's a perishable product and um, a lot of people need it. During the winter months, it's really difficult for us to keep up with the demand of our hospital patients just because, you know, a lot of donors don't want to come out in this extreme weather conditions. I've given blood before and then I was a donor, but I never see this part of like I was never being a recipient side. Uh, so it, it's, how important this is, it's not just blood, it's the life that you're giving to somebody and there's nothing, nothing uh, uh, compared to that. He recovered remarkably. He just a miracle. That's what they call him, a miracle boy. I just got to say thank you for that. You know, it's nice knowing that people care. To be a donator means that you're a leader and then you're helping. You're not just, you know, like giving blood, you're giving your life to someone.